Well, good morning, my friends. It's your old pal, Jordan the Lion, and as you can see, if you know that red backdrop, you know that we must be at the Madame Tussauds Wax Museum because they always have that. The building is always decked out in red, and you can see above it, there is the Orlando Eye Ferris wheel. Today, we are going to go and explore Madame Tussauds Orlando. Days with Jordan the Lion begins right now. I always love to check out wax museums, especially in cities, because you never know what they're going to make the theme. You know, a lot of times the people that they have inside this wax museum, they won't have anywhere else because it's someone very specific to the area. So wonder who they'll have for Orlando. Here we go, Icon Park. Here's the entryway and we've got, I think that's pink up there. Let's go explore the museum. Now they said that some of these figures, like I mentioned in the intro, are very specific to this area, like this one, Pitbull. And they said that they have 60 to 70 figures and that um, right now they actually have more than they usually would. And that definitely looks like Pitbull. I met him, he was actually a very kind guy, very nice. Um, they said they have more figures than normal now because Washington DC's Madame Tussauds is closed, so they've dispersed all of the figures all over the country, so they have more figures now because they have some of DC's. What do we have here? We're definitely on a pirate ship, and someone just shot a cannon at me. Not cool. Oh, Ponce de Leon. Thanks to you, I got to drink out of the fountain of youth. Thank you, Ponce de Leon. All right, we're continuing on. Let's see what we have here. We have some sort of camp. Let's see, volunteers wanted. What is this all about? This is all about serve your country. Uncle Sam wants you for the army. He wants you, you. Don't you? And of course, they've always got the fun pick opportunity where you can stick your face through there. I want you! And then over here we have the presidents. She did say that these came from Washington, so we have Abraham Lincoln, who, that one definitely is a very, very good Abraham Lincoln, in my opinion. The eyes are just uncanny, wow. And then this one also, from DC, as you might imagine, George Washington. And then 1969 in everyone's home, what were they doing? They were watching the moon landing. Or they were watching a fake moon landing on a soundstage somewhere. Depends on which one of my crazy friends you ask. But I want to believe that we did land on the moon and that is Neil Armstrong. Apollo 11. Here we have the Oval Office with the last two presidents. There is Donald Trump. At the time of filming, yesterday he found out that he was not elected that tells you how far or how long ago this was. And there is President Barack Obama. Now as we move on into the 60s, here we have Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. standing in front of his I Have a Dream speech. And then looking through the bookcase next to him, I see someone we're gonna see next. Albert Einstein. Oddly, he was one of Marilyn Monroe's crushes. Isn't that crazy to find that out? She actually had a signed photo of him inscribed to her they found after she passed away. Brilliant man. And then over here we have Thomas Alva Edison. 
holding a light bulb. Here we have a drafting table with some sketches that would be used for Disney, as you can see on the wallpaper, which means that is Walt Disney in his creator studio. There's old Walt. And then look at what Walt sees out his window. And then here we have a little bit more of his studio. Now as we round this corner, you see pop culture icon, Andy Warhol. Known for the Campbell soup can and known for those great prints of Marilyn. Rolling Stone sticky fingers. The Velvet Underground album, Andy Warhol, that he produced. Really good setup for this figure. They even have him, you can pose with him in some boxes of Brillo pads. And then over here, we have Steve Jobs. Here we have Madame Tussauds. She's a very interesting person. That's one of the few times that I've ever researched someone to find out that they say most of the things that she wrote in her autobiography were not exactly truthful. So for being as much of a creative genius as she was with the wax figures, a lot of her stories and her Recollections of her life were not accurate. And then over here is a studio where they're working on some of the figures. And here's a head in the process. Here we have some hand prints. They've got Jackie Chan, Serena Williams. And then down here is Taylor Swift and Sofia Vergara. And then Neil Patrick Harris and Jimmy Fallon. And then much like we saw at Potter's, they did it with, uh, I think it was Schwarzenegger, the one we saw there. They show the process here, where half of it is been colored, it has a little bit of hair, and it's got the eyebrows and everything, and then the other side is more of a starting phase. All right, now we're going into the sports, and I see David Beckham. Crazy that you would have a soccer player Known for being a great soccer player, and then you don't have him in any of his soccer attire, you have him dressed like a businessman. Whatever. I guess I get it, but I don't approve on this particular case. If you're here representing a sport, show him playing sports. Because we go over here, we got Dale Earnhardt Jr., which I, you know, I get it that he's not in a uh, car, but this is a much better setup, and it looks just like him. I mean identical, Dale Jr. And then right next to him, over here, is, some say, the greatest of all time, down here, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, Muhammad Ali. Mama call him Clay, I'ma call him Clay. Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. There he is. It's a pretty good one. I gotta say, that is a pretty freaking good wax museum figure. Well, here we go. As we enter this section, we have Dolphin Great, Dan Marino. One of the elite quarterbacks of his day, no question about it. Florida hero. And then as we proceed over here, we have another that was dominant in his day, Peyton Manning. As a Denver Bronco, man, that's still crazy to think about, isn't it? That it, he had all those years with the Indianapolis Colts, but he would be in this museum as a Denver Bronco. All right, now over here I recognize two of the three. This is clearly Serena Williams. Clearly, and a very well done Serena. 
you can see. They nailed the muscles. She's definitely got ripped arms and those ripped arms are right there. And then we have over here, this is the one I didn't know, Neymar Jr. Soccer player. Not familiar with him. But I love that they have this, Shaq. Back in the Shaq attack days, when he was on the Orlando Magic, before he went to the Lakers. I was a big fan of Shaq at this point in his career. I, I really like Shaq a lot. Take a look at this. Of course you gotta have Tiger Woods if you're talking sports in Florida. Golf is very popular here. Here we have a scoreboard, so they have Derek Jeter. You never know, you honestly never know when you go to a wax museum who they will have. And like I said, you know, sometimes they'll have regional people, so it could have been a Florida Marlin, or could have been a Tampa Bay Ray, or you never know, but this one is Derek Jeter, one of the greatest of all time. Gotta give him credit, he really was. And then check this out right here. These seats, take a look at those. Aren't those great? It says that those are original seats in the old Yankee Stadium. Oh, hello, look at you, Beyonce. You're calling my name, aren't you? Wow, that is great. Wow, look at her. They really set that up great. You can just see her like tunnel vision. Then as we come around the corner, they've got this as the tour bus. You can see the wheels and everything over here. Now we come into Ricky Martin. There's Ricky Martin, popular in this area also. And then we have Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga is a tough one because you know, she has so many looks and so many different eras and styles that they could go with, so that one looks pretty good. And then over here we have Rihanna. Let's see, oh yeah. Oh yeah, it looks just like her. They nailed it. This one is Selena Gomez. And then if you venture past this drum set, you can see the E-man back here, Elvis. And that's a pretty good Elvis, it's not too bad. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of a different look to his hair than I ever recall. It kind of has Andy Kaufman hair, but that's, um, that's definitely the king, no question about it. That is definitely the king. And they did do the Aloha from Hawaii outfit, you gotta give them credit for that. But look at this, this is fantastic, this is if I'm not mistaken, it's Michael Jackson from the Super Bowl performance. I think, I know he swapped clothes a bunch, but I think that's it. Actually, that's that might be black or white because he's got that arm cast thing he was wearing at that point. There he is. That's probably one of the better Michael Jackson figures I've ever seen in any wax museum. It's pretty good, actually. So this one is Justin Bieber, and I'll tell you what's interesting about it is that the Justin Bieber, kind of crazy, but it looks just like the um, the Miley Cyrus they have over here. I mean, it's like eerily similar. <laughs> and it's not just the hair either. And then here we have the beautiful Taylor Swift. I can never say anything bad about Taylor Swift. I got to do a music video with her and she was really sweet and nice to everybody, so I got nothing negative to say about Taylor. Here we have Jimmy Fallon and I was hoping because I heard the music for Golden Girls over my head, I'm like, oh God, please tell me they have a Golden Girls set of wax figures, but I looked around their movie section, TV section, I don't see them, so I guess maybe not, but that's a pretty good Jimmy Fallon. I gotta say, they did a pretty good job on Jimmy here. And then over here, we have Oprah, you can see Oprah Winfrey, and that definitely looks exactly like Oprah. Madame Tussauds always does a pretty good job. Some of the wax museums that you'll go to around the world will be a little questionable about their figures, but Madame Tussauds always does a pretty good job in my opinion. They're kind of the elite. Them and Grieven Wax Museums, they're great. So over here we have Neil Patrick Harris, Doogie, Doogie Hauser, but it says this is him being Barney Stinson. 
so there you go. I'm still calling him Doogie because I know him from Doogie Hauser MD. And then right over here we have Katy Perry. That's definitely Katy Perry. <laughs> Always very colorful. Definitely. And then here is Sofia Vergara. And then this one over here is the Big Bang Theories, Jim Parsons. Uh, Sheldon, I believe is his character's name. That is a wax figure of Sheldon. All right, let's see what we have around the corner. I see a DC logo, so I'm guessing we're gonna have some superheroes. We're entering LexCorp. Let's see, let's see, what do we have here? What do we have here? Breaking news out of Metropolis. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. There we go. Look at that. Really nice display, the flash. Pretty much have him in the guttered alleys of wherever. And then we have a whole alleyway here. And you can see this is Wonder Woman. Not Linda, but the newer Wonder Woman. All of these are gonna be from the new movies, I would assume. I don't think we're gonna find any uh, Adam West Batman or anything like that around here. Or Christopher Reeve Superman. See, we see Superman over here. Oh, we have a lot of destruction over here. And then over here, Superman is lifting this helicopter on his own. Let me help you with that, Superman. Excuse me, do you need any help? Because I can grab this side. Let's go for it. Like maybe this guy. This masked man from Gotham. And then over here, as we continue on, we have Aquaman, Jason Momoa, move on we're passing the daily planet over here what is this what the heck's going on over here all kinds of construction oh we're on the back lot my friends of Shrek so you can go stick your head through there and be in the photo with Shrek and Mrs. Shrek Princess Fiona breakfast at Tiffany's that's really good Audrey Hepburn. And here we have Jackie Chan in full praying mantis pose, <laughs> or whatever that is. But this one's cool, take a look. Danny and Sandy from Greece. Danny Zuko. And they recreated the carnival scene. You can see, you can get up there and you can be between them while they're doing the, you're the one that I want. And here's Sandy. Olivia Newton-John. Over here we have Kung Fu Panda. And then we're wandering into both the dinosaur area of Jurassic Park over here 
and you can actually get behind there so you can get a fun photo pic with a dinosaur about to eat your head. Or you can come over here and get a fun pic with E.T., which I have already done at a different Madame Tussauds. They always have the bicycle you can see back here that you can get on there and ride off into the moonlight. And look who we have here directing it. Steven Spielberg. And then over here we have Jennifer Lawrence from Hunger Games. They did a pretty good job on her as well. And then as we enter this room we have Zendaya, which I think the show was called, it was either Utopia or Euphoria that she was recently in, it was really good. Not for everyone, definitely not child friendly, but it was a really great show. And then there is Jennifer Lopez, of course. Banging Jennifer Lopez. And then over here we have Channing Tatum with a uh, portion of a car. I love how they do that. They'll set it up in front of some sort of prop, but you can see that the car is not a full car. It actually goes into the wall. Now let's wander into the Star Lounge where we have, wow, a lot of people. A whole room full of stars. Holy cow. We'll start over here with Ryan Gosling. I feel like these are the exact same ones that I saw in a setup exactly like this somewhere else, but I can't remember where, if it was LA or where it was. Johnny Depp. As I work my way around the room, I found Jennifer Aniston right over here. And then right over here is Emma Watson, you can see. And then of course that is Denzel Washington, very talented actor. And then here we have Anne Hathaway, definitely looks like Anne Hathaway. And then here we have Angelina Jolie, and did you notice in the background that they have those fireworks and everything going off? How great is that for an effect? You can see they're right on the water here in Florida. So that is Angelina, and who would you expect to be near Angelina but Brad Pitt, right over here. Long-haired Brad Pitt. Samuel L. Jackson, they nailed that one. He looks like he's right here in front of me. Honest to God, he looks just like he's alive. And then here we have Tom Hanks in a tuxedo. I don't know why they, they, I always see Tom Hanks in a tuxedo. They never have him as a character other than like Forrest Gump. He's always either Forrest Gump or a tuxedo. I don't get it. And then here we have Leonardo DiCaprio. So here we have Ryan Reynolds right here in the very front. And then over here we have Will Smith. See if I can get over here to him without getting my shadow all over it. That's Will. I don't know what more they could have. I feel like we've seen a ton of stuff already. And bam, our last one is right there. It is Pharrell. Very nice guy. I actually was on one of his music video shoots and he couldn't have been nicer. He was nice to everyone. All the actors, everyone there. Very, very friendly guy. And it was after his super big song had already hit. This was his follow up to it. I forget what the name of the song was, but good guy. All right, my friends, we're gonna call it a day. Pharrell and I are wiped out from today. I hope you all enjoyed this. We'll see you all next time. Have a great night and goodbye.